Great to catch up on what is going on outside, even during Heritage Week, because there's a lot going out on outside here in the Low Country. Gene Fru of the Outside Foundation is joining us. You're we're talking about something that I grew up with, that you grew up with, that we've all grown up with, that maybe takes on new meaning in the last few years and certainly in the years ahead. Earth Day. Yeah, we're really excited to have our third annual uh, kind of hashtag Earth Day HHI event. And it's really a community call to action. You know, this week, at Heritage Week, we get to showcase the absolute beauty of our island. And that's a showcase throughout the United States, of course, throughout the world. And we want to make sure that when those visitors come to our island, mm -hmm. um, as well as when residents are enjoying our natural spaces and beaches, uh, that they are pristine, that they are what people would expect to, in this community. And so uh, this call to action is for community members, businesses, groups, service groups, clubs, um, come on out on Earth Day. Earth Day will be the 22nd, a Saturday, so mm -hmm. it's the week after Heritage. We can, we can all Heritage yeah. out and yeah. do that, yeah. but then we need to clean it up and get ready for summer, right? Yeah, I mean, I think, too, um, especially we're right on that uh, fringe of sea turtle nesting season, right. and so I know that Turtle Patrol and the turtle tracker groups have been getting ready for that big season, and we want to make sure that the beaches are... Uh, spotless, um, so that no wildlife could be harmed. Even a small part of piece of plastic, plastic bag, or something could could actually endanger a turtle. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, it's up to us to to care for our beaches. And we know through research that uh, when people uh, are experiencing or visiting clean spaces, they're more likely to keep those spaces clean, less likely to litter in areas where they don't see litter. How good are our tourists at doing that? I mean, we all try to keep our own backyard clean. Are our tourists better than most uh, when you talk to other people around the country? Do, do our tourists do a decent job? Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to say because yeah. I, I really don't get to, to visit um, public spa public beaches, right. you know, quite a bit. But, um, you know, here we do find the, the, the heaviest areas of litter are our public beaches yeah. and, the, and the associated parking lots. But they're also the most visited. So, sure. you know, sheer numbers. Um, and, you know, we've come a long way. And, and, and certainly the, the town of Hilton Head, as well as all of the beach groups that are so active and volunteering to really try to keep those spaces clean to provide. Um, a good number of, um, you know, receptacles for trash and recycling uh, right. to encourage that. Right. So the idea behind Earth Day is obviously to clean things up. We're picking up litter mm -hmm. on the beach. Mm -hmm. Are we picking up litter in other places too on this Earth Day? Have, have you got? Yeah. Uh, you, you got us all over the low country? Sure. I mean, all you need to do is to go to uh, www hashtag earthdayhhi.com. Okay. When you click on there, you'll see register your event. And so you can you can join another event or register your own. You just pick a space. Okay. And so it could be a beach. It could be a park. It could be any natural area on the island. Okay. We, uh, we will list a, a time uh, that earlier that week when we will hand out supplies, thanks to Palmetto Pride. Okay. Um, and so we'll have lots of supplies for all the different groups. So you just pick a, pick an area, pick a time. It can, some groups are going on Friday because it's easier for them in terms of their staffing. Sure. Pick a space, pick a time, go out and collect your litter. And then we actually, as part of that registration, you can report. You can take pictures. You can tag us on social media. But we'll actually get an estimate of everybody's numbers and including oh, their weight. Last year, 500 yeah. volunteers, uh, over a quarter a ton of trash picked up. Uh, wow. in just a few days. And so we had over 20 groups. We'd like to double all of those numbers this year. Maybe not the trash number, but we'd like to, <laughs> well, let's we'd hope like there's to not double. That much out there. Yeah, <laughs> we, we would like to double those numbers this year. On Earth Day itself, that mm -hmm. Saturday morning, they'll be uh, with our partners, Palmetto Pride and Keen on Clean, town of Hilton Head. We'll have a nice little festival down at Caligny. There'll be a 5K uh, Earth Day um, run, fun run on the beach. Uh, so we invite people to come on down to Caligny and to join in um, for that. And that'll be that'll be fun as well. Nothing better than being on our beaches in the springtime mm -hmm. before the crazy summer crowds. And if we can clean it up and have a little run on it and have some fun, uh, uh, great opportunity. Hey, mm -hmm. thanks so much for the You're uh, information. Again, it's uh, the, the 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 best website to find out more is, is www yes. hashtag Earth Day or just www right. earthdayhhi uh, dot com and or 
EarthDayHHI.com, and when you click on there, you'll see immediately uh, all of the information. We're just wrapping up our schools challenge as well. We partnered with Palmetto Pride, our Palmetto Pride, and the town of Hilton Head. A Palmetto Running Company in Keenan Clean to offer our schools a challenge. And so we've had our school school kids all the way sure. from elementary to high school out um, cleaning up and showing us their impact. And that wraps up on Wednesday. And we've got some pretty amazing awards for those groups to actually turn turn back right. into um, improving the sustainability for their for their schools. So all right. Earth exciting Day stuff. All right. Earth Day H -H -I yeah, com. See, I exactly. blew it too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll finally get it all right. Yeah. It's on your screen. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jean. We You're welcome. It. Thank you. We want to thank all of our guests for making us just a bit smarter over the last half hour, and we thank you for tuning in. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.